What is going on guys? My name is Rebel or Rebel Complex and this is my third time doing this tutorial. Now the problem with me is I don't know what I keep trying to do After Effects and easy easy keyframes. And I forget this isn't After Effects, this is Sony Vegas. Now what I'm gonna start here is a new series. You guys request uh effects down in the comments section of what you like to see and maybe give me an example and we're going to be going from beginner to more advanced stuff back in after effects so what i have here is actually pretty basic it's just a rgb split in a, er, in sony vegas now what you saw right here was this rgb split now rgb stands for red green and blue and it's changing the alpha channels. It's comp basically copy and paste them, but it's you. You're only doing a little bit of what the actual it's actually doing, and it's taking the alpha channels and switching the colors and making it look kind of like a glitchy effect. Now, so we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit File New. I'm not gonna save changes. Now up here, I'm gonna switch this to 12 E by 720. Oops. 720. Um, I'm gonna keep the frame rate at 29 because there's literally no point in rendering out double. And then right here, stereo scopic 3D mode. Um, that we're only we're gonna be messing around with. Now you can have it on green and magenta, amber and blue, or red and cyan. Now you can have it on whatever you like for. This effect, I'll do it. I'll, this time, I'll do it uh, green and magenta. And then I'm gonna go ahead and import my clip. Oh, that's not my clip. Whoops. Rebel. I'm gonna go ahead and import my clip. Now what I have is a triple collat. Now I'm gonna go to the shot, the exact point I see, and get the hit marker. I'm gonna split it using S on the keyboard. And then now all we gotta do is go. We're gonna go to stereoscopic 3D adjust. If you just go to video effects and scroll all the way down this at the bottom, and then oh, pretty cool. Okay, here it is. And then there's no preset. You can save a preset. And I'm not sure you guys how to save one real fast. Now this is where we're gonna be adjusting everything. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and set it back, that stack, set it back down to zero. And then we're gonna click on the little animate button. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up a little bit, or quite a lot, and then we're gonna go forward a little bit, and then bring it down. Like we're just gonna use di we're gonna random kind of make it random. Now you don't have to use exactly my numbers. Um, be creative. I suggest you to do. Because being creative is gets you, gets you more noticed. Alright, now that I placed all my keyframes, I'm going to go forward just a few frames. And then I'm going to set it back down to zero. Now what that's going to have it do, is it's going to have it fade off. Now I want to have this one more, maybe more of a pull, so 235. Oh, that's a lot, okay. We'll do 135. Should be good. That's still quite a lot, but eh, we're not gonna do that such high. That's really high. We're gonna do 100. That's good. That's more better to get. All right. Now, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see it fade off. The actual RGB split effect itself. Now, what you can do now that we're here is if you're it depends on what kind of edit you're doing how you want it if you go up here right above your video at you see project video properties you can actually change in the middle of it on what kind of effect you want you just gotta click the what one you want I'll do I'll do amber and blue and I'll hit apply and it gives you see the RGB split change but the effect did not itself so you don't got to redo it now the red and cyan um, this is this is the most noticeable RGB split. So we're gonna go ahead and look at it real fast. Now that 
happens kind of fast. But it, it's not, there's supposed to be pretty fast effects. Um, let me do a second here. I'll have it more and more of a feed. We'll drag everything out a little bit more. Maybe not have it so clustered. So I think that was one of my issues last time. I couldn't figure out how to get it stopped doing that, but I think I got it this time. Right. Yep, as you saw, there was that RGB split effect. I, let me also do this real fast. Disable resample and untick maintain that ratio. Whatever it's called. Sorry guys, it's two o'clock in the morning. Um, now I'm gonna go here. No, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. You gotta right click on your video, hit properties, and then just check them. And then to sell the effect even more, what I like to do is I like to add a pan and crop, as Sony Vegas calls it. Then and that'll make a that'll make a pulse effect. So we're gonna go from like this to this. So like yeah. now also what I like to do more is drag that a little bit more. So it kinda and you have more room to work with effect wise. So bam, that's done. That is your RGB split. I hope you guys had a good one. It, whatever kind of tutorial you like to see, maybe on my past edits or my or an edit, just link me the edit and I link me the exact time it is on the edit, and I will figure out how to do that effect. I will try my hardest to try to figure out how to do that effect. All right, guys, it has been Rebel. I'm out. Peace.